Hello, hello, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. In the previous episode, we finally did everything there is to do. Uh, if you would look at the journal, at our discovery log, you will notice we have found all of them. No more empty spaces. And if you look at our crew manifest, you will see we have everyone. No more empty spaces. So, I think we are finally done with all of the extra busy work that we have to do. I hope. I mean, don't don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure we're done with all that. Which means we can finally carry on with the story. And the story is going to be right over this way. Um, I guess in the episode previous, we determined that the Yellow Moon Crystal of Valua is probably hidden underneath the continent somewhere, and the best way to get it is by entering the Maw of Tardis from below, rather than the sealed entrance up top. Ah, oh, it's one of these weird airship dungeons where I can't save wherever I want. Well, then we fly forward and explore these giant caverns that you can fit a whole battleship into. Ah, the Valuan continent might not be all that stable, now that I think about it. But we've got some gigantic yellow moonstones here, and enemies. These ones might be new. Let's see what we've got. What lives down here? Oh, hello. Uh, no, I do not want to fight the Draco Lurg. Oh, that is terrifying. What the heck? Wait, it's it's purple? It's purple. Okay. Um Cutlass Fury. Let's uh let's see how much health this thing has. I imagine it's a lot. This does not look like a normal enemy. Yeah, how about you take some of that? Oh, that was 1400 damage, and it's barely a third of the way down. Frost Breath. Oh! Okay, so that's the way you're gonna play it, huh? Oh, very well. Not quite halfway there. So what do I got? I got 15. So that means I can actually use both of my specials. Athena, uh, how about you just heal everybody if you can? There we go. An onslaught of some of my most powerful moves. Let's go, Enrique. You can do it, I believe. Face my blade. Yeah, fancy sword play. Okay, and Vice can do the same thing, and this... Mm, yeah, this will get us there. Okay, well that was... A little scary, not gonna lie. I do not want to face multiple of those ever. Uh, one is quite enough. That's a lot of gold, though. Here, while I have a moment of peace, how about we use a little bit of magic and heal everybody back up? That'll do it. So, continuing onward. Uh, in this dungeon, there are two of these crossroads, I think. Uh, one of them leads forward, the other one leads to an item. Things. What are these? Stock fiends and nadnarbs. Who 
names this stuff? This is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know how powerful they are. Mm, but I imagine they are susceptible to Lambda Burst, so let's uh, go with that. That'll be our running assumption for the time being. Okay, those things don't have a lot of health. And these also don't. Okay, Aika, do your thing. Ooh, roasted. Oh, one of them was blocking. Okay, how about you get out of here, thanks. That's fun. That was fun. And oh, so close, Ika, so close. Well, let's uh Let's go right. Let's see what's over this way. I don't actually have this layout uh, memorized, so this might actually be the right way to go, and I don't want it to be. Uh, I'd rather have the item. And even more new enemies. Ooh, these are like fossil enemies. Shrilps! They're called Shrilps! And... Oh, these are new as well. Nyrad. Wow, there is a great diversity in enemy types here. Uh, purple will do more damage. Lambda Burst will still get through some of these, I think. Yeah, those things are kind of big. I feel like they'll definitely take a couple hits. Those ones, not so much. Boom! Ah, we only got one of them, though. Now you stop that. Here, have some of this. Ugh. Bonk. Poor Enrique. It's always Enrique. Blah. That looked a little disgusting. Drill nose, really? Just gotta make this more difficult than it needs to be. And you missed everyone. See, look, that accomplished nothing. Uh, you can attack this one. You can use Lambda Burst one more time. And let's just make sure this one also goes away. Oh, blocking. Well, at least that means you aren't doing anything else. And the Cupel Sword. Ah, that doesn't do very much to those things, does it? Oh, counterattack? Nice. And you are blocking still. So, let's see, what do we got? We got 17. That is plenty to get through with all of my special moves. So I think... Uh, your turns are numbered, buddy. Even if you counterattack to make things just that much more difficult. Okay, Vice, can you finish it off? Yes. Ha, that was easy. Now, how about dropping some items for me? That would be real cool. Uh, rank up. Pyrulin was learned. Still no items. Okay, well, where am I going? This... Uh, this curves up there. Ooh, this might be the actual way forward. 
I have to see what is around this corner. Okay, finally we have some repeating enemies, and as it turns out, this was not the right way to go. Uh, this is what treasure chests look like in this dungeon. Uh, let's see what happens when we interact with the giant crystal. I receive a Dexa seed. Only one. This crystal is absolutely massive, many times larger than my ship. Yeah, it's probably not to scale, just like most things in this sky. Now look, those jumbo shrimp enemies are kind of cool, but they also usually attack in pairs, and I'm not a big fan of that, actually. But whatever, they are behind us now, so let's just keep on flying through the caves, and uh, eventually get back to where we started. Okay, so I cut out a little bit of flying. Um, we were just back at those crossroads, so now we are taking the left-hand path. So, what do we have up here? Well, we've got a lot more caves, a lot more pointy rocks. Uh, it all kind of looks the same. But hey, I mean, the moon crystals can't all be hidden in lost cities or whatever places of legend. Sometimes they just throw them underground, in the caverns, and let the local wildlife guard them. So we have once again come to a bit of a crossroads. Now last time the right path led us to a treasure chest or treasure rock crystal, uh, what are the odds that this time the left path will take us to one? I don't actually remember myself. So this path might just lead to a whole lot of backtracking. We'll just have to see. Uh, what is over here? Is it another corner? Uh, yes? Okay, it's turning around the other way. Oh, yellow rocks. This is promising. This is promising. Remember last episode when we could fly over all the enemies and never had any encounters that we didn't want? Yeah, those were the days. But it looks like I chose correctly. This is the crash into. This is the rock. Uh, it is a moonberry. How many of those do I have? Uh, Aika, you still have super moves, right? Uh, you have four, and that is exactly what you need to summon the power of the red moon and destroy all enemies on screen. Uh, Omega Cyclone! Uh, it takes 12 SP to use. I don't think I start with that quite yet. Nope, as it just so happens, I only start with 11. Ah well, very soon then, very soon I will be able to start every battle with an even more powerful AoE attack. Uh, I don't think this is one that I can click on, is it? No, it's not. Ah well. Anyway, uh, I think that was the second crossroads that I just flew through. So I am now going up the right path, and would you look at that, there is a save point. And what is after... hold that thought. Oh, well, would you look at that. Okay, we have new enemies. Uh, these are Carnalax. Okay, uh, meat-eating flowers, I suppose. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I want to use Ika's fancy new attack, so why don't we not use any specials and see what happens here. 
And with this, I'm pretty sure we've uh, filled up our enemy decks of the underneath of Valua. Because we've been seeing a lot of these common enemies that are just running away. But these big plants seem to be a bit more on the rare side. Uh, what are you going to do, slumber dust? Yeah, don't do that, actually. Please don't hit anyone. You hit all of them. Not a fan. And you attacked Vice. Increm. Oh, don't increm them. That's the last thing I want you to do. Ah! Ooh, this battle. This is gonna be an ordeal. Uh, what can I do about you? I mean, I can get rid of this thing in one hit, probably. Let's do that. Just turn around, Vice. Give this thing a smack. Yeah, get out of here. Stop attacking Vice. Attack one of the sleeping people. Uh, not like that, though. You see, they wake up when they get attacked. Oh, thank you for missing Ika that time. Well, at least Fina's okay now. And I have 44 spirit. Okay. So, let's use Lunar Light. Let's just get everyone back up and running again. We may be underground, but still we can bathe in the light of the moons. Death Blossom, okay. 1300 damage, that's nothing, nothing. Okay. Now they're just playing dirty. Okay, Vice, I'm gonna need you to cut down one of these real good. You get to use your new ultimate move. Uh, you're gonna guard, Fina. You know what? Let's just make this a showcase of a lot of ultimate moves. Why not? Here goes. Well, that looked mighty impressive for only 400 damage. Mind you, I don't think these enemies are very weak against red. Okay, Enrique, do your thing. Your trial shall be swift and just. Yes, put this flower on trial. There, see? 3,000 damage, that's more like it. Let us be thankful for our safety. Yes, let's. Okay. Uh, that was actually a rather difficult battle, huh? But anyway, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by those enemies. Where there is a save point, there is usually a boss. And... Uh, hmm... This episode might end up being a little short, because I'm gonna be cutting out, like, five dozen random encounters. But, I think it was still a rather interesting little look at the various fauna that lives beneath the ground in Valua. So, at least 
from an academic standpoint, I think it was a worthwhile episode to watch. So in the next one, we are going to venture through this cave and see what sort of terrible beastie lurks on the other side. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I do hope that you join me again next time for the next exciting episode of this. Till then, ta-ta.